Welcome guys to a new Jetpack Compose video which is about top up bar and scaffold which are two components that you will use a lot in your Android apps because in every screen in your app there will probably be a top up bar and to have a top up bar you need a scaffold so let's see what we will build in this video okay as you can see here is the Google Keep app from Google of course we won't build this but as you can see the top bar in here we have this icon that opens a navigation drawer we have this text in here and then the these two icons you could say and this is the app that we will be building here it is and here is the top bar we have the same icon the text and the two icons you can adjust these after watching this video as you need and where scaffold comes in place is that it not only gives you a place to put this top bar in but also when you scroll like this you get this nested scrolling that now when you scroll down the top bar goes away but if you scroll up just a little bit it shows again like this so all of this with a top bar and scaffold okay so let's get started with it here we have an empty activity and let's start building we can probably leave this one open so you could see and let's just make it small now let's first create the scaffold okay so let's go right here we can close this and simply that is a scaffold and what a scaffold is good for is that let's open this here we get padding let's create this and then i will tell you what this is for is that let's open it we get a place to put a top bar a bottom bar a snack bar floating action button we are interested in creating a top bar so we will put a top bar inside this composable lambda function and if we have of course a bottom bar then we can do this if we have a floating action button then we can do this and so on in this case we only have a top bar so we can have it right here and this padding values is that this space that let's open the app the space that the top bar takes which is probably from here all the way to the top we want to push all our content to the bottom for that space because otherwise this item will be all the way here or something right here so for that we push it with this padding values to be right here but then if we scroll we can definitely take it up like this and then if we scroll down or up it can go back to its place so let's create our top bar in a different function but before that let's just remove this arrow by creating some sort of a composable screen and then it's called that right here so screen that takes a modifier our modifier that padding given it our padding value so now the content of our screen will be pushed by that top padding here we'll have now our top bar so composable top bar and that will take one extra parameter in this case which is scroll behavior which is a top bar scroll behavior in and i will show you why we need this later we want now to create our top app bar like this that takes a title great but of course our top bar takes more than just the title and the things that it takes are let's check that and let's open our app right here so we have a title which is of course the title the text that is inside here we have a navigation icon which is what we have right here and this could be for opening a navigation drawer for going back to the previous screen and then we have the actions which are the icons or things that we can do right here and these are all the extra actions that are not necessary but can be there like opening accounts opening notifications or anything like so we have window incest that we'll also use and we'll see where and then the top bar colors of course to change the color of our top bar and scroll behavior of course to get the scroll behavior that it shows up once we scroll up just a little bit and goes away once we scroll down so let's first of all go here and then assign our modifier to it so the one that we pass to our function right here and then give it the scroll behavior that's also something we need so scroll behavior is our scroll behavior and then let's try running the app but I'm not sure if we can see anything because we don't have any content in the title or anything but you just run the app and then build along with what we see here's the app of course we don't have anything and it starts with the title let's first add a title that is in the end just a text and that is for example search your notes we can give this a color like this so let's say the color is going to be material theme dot color scheme dot on background or on a primary as we want so let's copy 0.7f so that we make it a little bit transparent let's rerun the app and hopefully now we can see the title maybe we still can't because i didn't call this top bar function top bar scroll behavior we will create that right now so let's create it inside our theme right here that is going to be a var scroll behavior and let's just close this it's going to be top bar defaults dot enter always scroll behavior and then state is going to be remember top bar state we can opt into this annotation maybe this one is remember top up bar state 
and simply and so always scroll behavior is that behavior when we scroll down it disappears if we scroll up just a little bit it shows that's this scroll behavior that we want to pass right here and now we can already see our title which is right there as you can see we can of course fix this and make it better it's first of all give it some colors so that we can see it so colors are going to be top up bar defaults dot top up bar colors and then what we want is the container colors to be material theme dot color scheme dot surface variant for example dot copy 0.6f and it's we're on the app and see as you can see here it is now it looks a lot better with the color and here is the top bar and title or text we can try making this one a little bit smaller so uh, font size let's go for like 17.sp and that looks great we can now add the next thing which is the action so if we check the other app we have the action right oh i'm sorry the navigation icon so let's go down here and write navigation icon that's going to be an icon that takes an image or an image vector so icons dot rounded dot menu that's the icon we want for this content description that could be null and here it is we can push it a little bit to the right so let's give it a modifier modifier dot padding start let's go for 16 dot dp to push it a little bit like that probably horizontal so that we own also separate it from the title if you want to but that looks too much let's just go for end and give it like 8 dot dp yeah that looks better now we can give it a size so dot size let's say 27 dot dp yeah, it's a little bit bigger and better and if you want to put all these Jetpack Compose components in a large scale application and use them together, then check out my premium course in the description in which you will build an industry level app using all these underwood industry concepts, along with building a KTOR backend. You can find the link in the description. Great. The next thing we need is our actions. And these are as well just icons. We can just copy the whole thing, paste it. For this one, it's going to be account circle and then paste it again for notification um, this one is account circle there is too much space in the end so for this one we don't really need any start padding and let's just make it bigger i guess this one probably needs to be bigger as well as this one and from the end we can go for like 16 for this one if we want to like this but then here maybe just eight or we can just have a spacer or anything we want between them so right here we can have a spacer and our top bar already looks great for this screen and it's really functional we can just click on this button send some sort of on click and then do something okay we can click on this text to then take them to the search screen as we had in the other app as you can see in google keep if we click on it we go to the search screen that's something we also can do okay so that's how we create a top bar and let's now design it to look like this so a bit special okay the first thing is that we want to push it from the side so we can take this modifier dot padding horizontal and then let's give it 16 dot dp but the problem is that it takes space all the way to the top and to fix that we want now to pass the window insets that i told you about that's going to be window insets and then from the top we want zero padding because now it has this padding so we want to give it zero padding but then it goes up all the way there because we use edge to edge as you can see right here and if we didn't use this we can just delete this and run the app it will go back to place as you can see it came right here but then we have this color looks weird but then you just bring that h to h enabled and the way we can fix this is that we want instead of having this top bar called from the scaffold right here we want to create another scaffold right here and take this scroll behavior from here we don't want this anymore and then have that top bar right from here so let's create the scroll behavior and like this now we want to assign a modifier to the scaffold which is the modifier that we passed we just create some space right here and great now we call our screen but of course now we want to have the screen content in a different way so another composable and say for example screen content right here and that's exactly what we are going to call okay that's great now let's try running the app and see if we can now push the top bar to the bottom with an extra scaffold for only this screen which is the screen that we have in here and it's possible that with every screen we want to have a scaffold so it will just be this way okay so now here it is what we need next is we want to clip it so clip give it rounded corner shape let's say 100.dp to have fully rounded corners and it already looks good as you can see 
it definitely looks good and almost identical or probably yes identical to the previous one now we just want to have a little let's say right here we want to have a lazy column and let's make this fill the max size so modifier modifier dot fill max size let's give it a horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally to have all the items centered horizontally and then let's give it a content padding there's going to be padding values because right now I'm actually going to use a different modifier. So I want just to push the item, the first item by this padding values. If I didn't have a lazy common, just a normal common, then I can use a normal modifier because I already have that padding in there. In this case, I want to just keep this one takes the whole space, but I'm going to push the first item with that padding that this top bar takes. And that is going to be passing top padding only and I need to pass now the padding so that's going to be padding values of type padding values and that's exactly what I need to pass here so padding values is going to be my padding values okay that's going to be padding values dot calculate top padding and now I can have the items so let's say items let's say 10 items so just like this and then the item is just going to be a box that takes a modifier dot we want to have some padding let's say horizontally of 16 dot dp and then we want to give it a height of 200 dot dp and then we want to fill the max width we want to clip it to make it look better so rounded corner shape 20 dot dp and then we want to give it a background of material theme dot color scheme dot inverse primary for example after this box we want to have a little bit of a spacer behind it or below it so spacer of a height of 16 dp now let's run the app and see if we can see our items Great, we can see them as you can see. This is how it looks like. We want to push it a little bit more, so we will write right here. Calculate top padding plus 16, for example, dot dp. So just we push it to the bottom by a little bit. And this top bar is transparent, so instead of giving it this extra alpha right here, let's not do that and make it only look like this. And it looks great. So we have a top bar, but now we still don't have that scroll behavior that we need. It's because we want to go to our scaffold right here and we need to pass that so right here dot nested scroll passing our scroll behavior dot nested scroll connection now as you can see it disappears but if i just scroll up just a little bit it shows up which is exactly what we want and that's great and we don't only have this top bar we have other ones like top bar we have large top bar and medium top bar and simply the size is different the title itself is different and if we didn't have these two we can do this as you can see how it looks like it's not changed this and this is how this large top bar looks like and in this case we can just now for example take this scaffold like this take everything from here and then just have it right here that would also be a valid thing to do and this is how it would look like and then we have another one which is probably medium to pop bar that is medium so yeah that's how it looks like and we just built this let's go back this is what we built which looks pretty unique for our app you can have some different color i guess like primary container maybe yeah we can do that and that's cool so that's how you create a top bar and the next video i will show you how to create a navigation drawer which is like this so when we click on this we show a navigation drawer in which we have items we can have an item selected if we want and we can customize it as we want as well and also we make that navigation drawer show once we click on this button that should show the navigation drawer and great that's it we just built a top up bar with a scaffold with nested score we can customize it and do whatever we want with it if you are enjoying this tutorial then you'll definitely like my premium course in which you will build a large scale app with a k-tor backend using all the underwood industry scales if you are interested you can find the link in the description also you can support the feature of this channel by leaving a like and subscribing to it see you in the next video bye